everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Today I have three simple DIY art prints. I have been switching out some frames in, around my house, especially in my son's room, but I really think these are kind of universal <laughs> art print ideas. But my hope with these three easy DIY art prints is really to inspire you to create something similar using these three methods. The first art piece that we're going to make is a large sort of canvas rainbow. <laughs> if you guys don't have canvas, I actually used scrap drop cloth that I have. And I think it's kind of like the same idea as it's like a canvas roll. And so I think you guys could use like cloth for this and it'd be super, super awesome. So basically all I did was measure out the size that I wanted, give it an iron to flatten out any sort of wrinkles in the fabric. And then I simply picked what colors I wanted and painted a really, really nice big rainbow. What I love about this simple rainbow is really all you have to do is make sure that that first arch is good. And once that first one's good, the rest of the rainbow is fairly easy to just follow that line you already created. And of course, you guys can use whatever colors you want. So if you want it super bright, you can do bright. If you want it muted, heck, you could literally do like all the same colors if you're wanting to go really minimal. This is so easy and it's such a large scale piece that cost little to nothing and can look great around your home. And this is how it turned out. The second art piece that we're going to make is using some dollar store poster board and some dollar store stencils. I'm sure you guys can also get these at Michaels or a craft store. I also find that stencils can come in bigger sizes. So if you're wanting to make something like a poster size, just get the bigger stencils. I was wanting to do kind of like an 11 by 17 size. So I found smaller letter stencils. For this, I decided to cut my poster board to the size I wanted. And then I painted the background kind of a nice like muted cream color. I just wanted something that wasn't like pure white. Then I just took some paper, wrote out a few ideas of what I wanted to say. I decided to go with darling, I love you forever. It's just a cute little thing that we say to Olin, not really the darling part, but just I love you forever. I just added the darling to kind of have a cute word across. Once everything's painted and you know what you want to say and how you're going to lay it out, then I cut out my stencil letters and laid them on. This actually took me two tries because I had never done stenciling and of course I was winging it. But what I know now is you need to have very little paint on your paintbrush and make sure that you just dab the letters. Don't paint them on and don't coat them because it bleeds through really easily. So just kind of dab the letters with very little paint. For each entire word, I wouldn't add any more paint to my paintbrush. I would lift up each letter right after I had added the paint to it and it worked out really, really well. And this is how it turned out. My third and final DIY art print is kind of a funny one, but it's basically a potato stamp. I've actually done potato stamped wrapping paper before. I can link that video down below for you. I wanted to do it again. This time I used a sweet potato. You're not supposed to use sweet potatoes. It did not work as good. So you should use like a white, very starchy potato and you can literally use a stamp pad. What I ended up doing is I grabbed my sweet potato, I cut the end off, and because sweet potatoes, they're pretty fat, I made two semicircles. If you don't wanna go through the trouble of creating a rainbow like me, because it's really not easy, and I don't have a trick to it. <laughs> I also think just the semicircle would be really, really cute, like a repeating pattern. So if you're wanting something like that, do that. I didn't film this, but I basically carved out two little arches from this sweet potato. I don't know how to do it. 
an easy way. I just took a knife to it and carved it out. I know that if you're doing like a star or a heart or like a Christmas tree, things like that, you can use cookie cutters. Maybe they have rainbow cookie cutters somewhere. I don't know, I didn't look. But you can use a cookie cutter, push it into the potato halfway, and then you kind of have your shape and you can go from there. Once you have the shape you want to work with, whether it is that semicircle, a rainbow, a star, then what I did for this, which usually you can use a stamp and you can also use paint, I got some creamy white paint and I painted directly on to my sweet potato because again, it wasn't a starchy one. It doesn't soak up the way it should. I just painted directly on and stamped it onto my craft paper. Very, very simple. I just did a repeating pattern. I love that it kind of has this imperfect look and I really, really like how it turned out. Again, this actually would make great wrapping paper. I also think it'd be really fun to do on like white paper and do kind of like an ombre with different colors. That would be cute in the semicircles or the rainbow, whatever it is. And this is how my potato stamp turned out. I hope you guys were inspired by my three simple DIY art prints. What I love about these is that you can use these, all these ideas like interchangeably, the rainbow on the fabric. I didn't need to frame that. I could have put that on a wooden dowel and hung it up, just the fabric. You also could have done my potato stamp on fabric. That would be super, super cool. All of these ideas, stencil lettering, they're just fun. You can change them up. You can write whatever you want. You can potato stamp whatever you want. You definitely don't have to paint a rainbow, but I do love the thought of just some big sort of like, even if it's just like shape canvasy thing. I'm really happy with how they turned out. I hope they inspired you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.